suppose we have a function from domain A to codomain B. And uh, this function is called said to be injective. If for all a and for for every pair of elements in the domain, if a is not equal to a prime, then f of a is not equal to f of a prime. So if this holds, then we say this function is injective or one to one. In this video, I would like to explain how to prove a given function is injective or not. So consider a simple example. Uh, let's say we have a function f of x equal to x plus 1, uh, where this function is supposed to be from uh, the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers. Okay. And this function is actually, indeed, injection. But how can we prove this? So according to this definition, let uh, x and x prime be any real numbers. And suppose x is not equal to x prime. Okay, then if we multiply both sides by 2, then we have 2x not equal to 2x prime. And then if we add uh, 1 to the both sides, we have uh, 2x plus 1 is not equal to 2x prime plus 1. Therefore, f of x is not equal to f of x prime. Therefore, f is injective. So, this should be the proof, right? Simple enough. Next, let's consider uh, another wrong example. So let's say we have a function uh, f of x equal to x squared, and that is uh, mapping from real numbers to real numbers. Okay, let's prove wrongly that this is injective. Okay, so again, let x and x prime be any real numbers, and suppose they are different. Okay, then if we uh, square it, they are different. Therefore, f of x is injective. This is wrong. Okay, this is completely wrong. Okay, be careful. So what is wrong about this? Okay, in fact, this function is not injection. For example, if we have x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 2, then both x squared and x prime squared, uh, x prime, uh, prime squared is 4. See, so different values of x and x prime, but the same values of x squared and x prime squared. So therefore, this function is not injective. So what was wrong? Uh, where we went wrong is this step, right? So even if x, x and x prime are different, it does not mean that x squared and x prime squared are the same, are, are different. So, but uh, in order to know this, uh, we actually need to know that x squared, this function, is not injective already, right? So uh, proving that a function is injective in this way uh, may not work if we, are, we don't have sufficient knowledge about the function itself. So what can we do about it? So to uh, think about this, this, this problem, uh, Let's go back to the original definition of injection. Okay, let's say if we have a and a prime in the domain, uh, for any pairs of elements in the domain, we have uh, if a is not equal to a prime, then uh, 
a f of a is not equal to f of a prime. Okay. Now we can instead of proving this, okay, we can prove it's contrapositive. Okay, so that is not if not this, then not this. So that means we, we can also prove by if f of a is equal to f of a prime, then a is equal to a prime. So for any pairs of uh, elements in the domain, if we can prove this, then we can also prove that this function is injective. So let's apply this to our uh, first example. So we have this function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 uh, from real to real. Okay, so uh, let x and x prime be any element, any elements of real numbers. And suppose uh, their values of uh, the function, functional values of uh, these elements are equal to each other. So suppose this holds. Then, by definition, we have 2x plus 1 equal to 2x prime plus 1. Okay, by subtracting uh, 1 from both sides, we have 2x equal to 2x prime. And dividing both sides by 2, we have x equal to x prime. Therefore, uh, you know, by this contrapositive, f is injective. Now, again, uh, let's consider this function, f of x is equal to x squared from real to real. Okay, then uh, let x and x prime be any real numbers, and suppose uh, f of x is equal to f of x prime. Okay, then we have, by the definition of this function, we have x squared is equal to uh, x prime squared. Okay, then take the square root. Now, if we take the square root of uh, this, we have x is equal to plus minus x prime, right? because uh, we know that uh, either positive or negative root uh, number can have the same square. Therefore, this means x may not be equal to x prime. So, so this suggests x is either, either x prime or negative x prime. So we cannot conclude that uh, x, uh, x equal to x prime. So we cannot conclude this. Therefore, f is not injective. So in summary, if we want to prove that a function is injective, we can go, uh, we can, uh, employ two different ways. The first one is based on the definition itself directly. So suppose we have different elements in the domain. Then we show that they lead to different elements in the codomain. So if we can do that uh, carefully, then that's fine. But sometimes uh, we may be misled to uh, conclude that non-injective function is injective. You know. So the other way is to uh, assume that, so if we have uh, two elements, x and x, x prime, uh, that have the same value in the codomain uh, as a result of the functional application, then this 
if we can show that this does not happen, so if the the source of this uh, functional value are not different like this, but uh, this may lead to indeed uh, not this, but not this, but uh, so n if they necessarily come from the same origin in the domain, then we can show uh, prove that uh, this function is injective. Right. <coughs>